Um, we can't glue anything down yet because we have to lay the paper down first. So what you want to do is measure your paper bags. So you'll take your ruler and then you want to measure the length of it which this is uh, comes out to be seven and a half and then the width of between the folds so right here is going to be four and looks like three quarters so up to this fold right here okay four and three quarters by seven and a half and then if you're like me and you forget all the time you can just write it down somewhere four three quarters Seven and a half. All right. So now we'll just turn this paper over. We can remember which ones we wanted. So what I'm going to do is work page by page, and I'm just going to set the pack of paper that we have all in order next to me somewhere. So then I can just grab it one by one and work from there. Alright, so we'll need, now what you'll need is your cutter. Okay? So. Alright. Now that we have the measurements of our books, we'll put that to the side and then we'll cut this part. So I'm just cutting this white part off first. Alright, um, so basically what I want to use is this top part for the book because I'm going to probably make my own um, edge stones on there. So since it measures out this way, you're going to want to measure from there. Looks like there's still a bit of white on there. Just gonna cut that off. All right. So our length is going to be seven and a half, and I don't want to cover the whole thing, so I'm just gonna take. Um, a quarter of it off so that way it leaves an eighth on each edge so um, what you'll actually be measuring up to is seven and in a quarter so you'll take it and see if you can see that right here is going to be seven and a quarter so I'll just put it up to seven and a quarter and cut completely across now you have this extra part and you don't throw away your pieces because you may need this. So I will just put this aside. Now the next measurement um, you'll need will be the four and three quarters and since you want to um, cut a quarter off so you'll have an eighth um, of the edge on both sides. So you just bring it up to four and three quarters and take off a quarter. So basically four and a half. And then I like to have the continuous so I'll cut another piece from the same way. So another four and a half. Like that. And you'll keep this. Waste not. Alright. So when you're looking at your book it's all jumbled up. Alright, when you're looking at your book, you'll have this way. Kind of face it towards you. It's going to be like this. So basically, almost all the way up to the edge. And for this, um, you want to make sure you cover up 
where you kind of messed up at, or where I kind of messed up at, <laughs> um, right there, and then it'll be covered up like this because it'll be a pocket, so you won't really see the part that I um, tore off. So just make sure you cover it up all the way to the edge of that. Alright, so um, if you want to uh, um, go over the edges and make it like it's torn or aged or something, there's this tool by Tim Holtz and it just distresses the edges of it. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do that, so right now we'll just start cutting the pages out and seeing how it looks together. So here we have this page and this page. Alright, so now we'll go and get our next, one, next piece of paper. Alright, this one has a crow on it, so these ones you want to make sure that you're not cutting the crow in half or something. I'm just cutting off this white edge here. I have a little basket um, paper bag underneath because I like to recycle all the paper that I do throw away. Okay, so you're going to come in from this end because you're going to want it from this end. Alright, so what we'll need is a seven and a half minus the quarter, which is seven and a quarter, right here. Keep your other piece. And then we're gonna come in from this side and see how this looks at four and a half. And I don't wanna cut off the branch, so what I'm gonna do is trim off this gray part here. Let's see where that gets me. I think I'll do that on each side. Alright, so now I'll go and do four and a half. So it's not interfering with the branch. And the same thing on this side. What you have left over is this part and the two edges, and you can keep those just in case you need extra paper for some reason or another. So now you got these two, and these two we're going to go on um, the front part. I believe that's what we're going to do. So this is like the front part, and the um, I'm sorry, this is the front part right here. And this is where the cover, this side will be where the cover will be. So, we've got that. Like that. And I'm probably going to do some distressing, but right now I'm just going to show you um, to cut your pages out and kind of put it aside. Alright, so if you have double stick tape, that doesn't like tear your paper would probably be a nice idea. And I just got this from the dollar store, so I'm just gonna put this right here. So it just can kind of stay here until I'm ready to work with it. And the same thing with these. It doesn't matter because um, they will come off. Alright. And then this other side. Oops, wrong one. But this one doesn't have one. So, you know what we can do is just use the other side. Like this. 
I'm not sure. I'm just going to leave this off for right now. Put this down. Alright. Because this side is going to go with the paper back, so you don't want to use that. Or, I'm sorry, the um, cover. It's going to attach to the cover. Alright, so the next paper we have... This is green one. And so what I'm going to do is use the bring it green one right here and for right here. So I guess we have this extra scarecrow. <laughs> we say scarecrow. This extra crow that we can use on another page if we wanted. So we'll just put that aside. And so now we're gonna go in to seven and a quarter. All right. And then I want to use this little crow right here. So we'll do four and a half. And then I want to use this other darker edge. So I'll just flip it around. And so this is what you'll have left over. You can use that for a tag or something. Alright, let's see what this looks like right here, and this is what we're kind of looking at, like that. I'm going to put the curl on the other side right here, so that'll be good. Alright, so I need some double stick tape. I'm just going to put that on this side right here. It doesn't really matter right now because it's not final. This is just so we can kind of get a glimpse of what it will look like. And that way, if we change our mind, we can always just take it off and move the pages around or something. So, this one I'm going to use on this side. Like this. Alright, so... Annoying. Okay. Let me just grab something real quick because I didn't want to wait by that. But the page is sticking out all the time, so I'm just going to grab some um, paper clips and just paper clip these down so they're not in my way. I'm flapping out everywhere. I hope you like um, how I'm doing like step, like really step by step <laughs> process on each one of these. Because then that way you can kind of learn the little tips and tricks, I guess, of the trade. Alright. Okay, so when we have our book, this is the cover end. Face it this way so you can see. So these these two sides on each end will be the covers, and when you open it, it'll open like this. 
and the side will open like this. So, and then we'll I'll show you how I make the little um, graveyard things. So let's go to the next page. Let's see how long this one is so far. Well, actually, I'll just stop it right here, and then we'll come back, and I'll show you um, episode three. Thanks for watching.